Tesla is building something called a Giga Water Loop. The Tesla Giga Water Loop, what exactly is it? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. There's a lot of speculation right now, sort of everywhere. What on earth is Tesla doing? They have applied for a permit to build something called a Giga Water Loop. Tesla usually uses the word giga in reference to the size of something. It's got to be big. So whatever this Giga Water Loop is, apparently it's going to be really big. Now, I have my own belief on what it is. But first of all, let's have a quick look at what Tesla has actually done. We've seen Tesla has a new building permit and it reveals Tesla is building what they call the Giga Water Loop. The project was referenced in a new building permit application submitted by Tesla. And it says this, this is a Tesla project called Giga Water Loop. There is an Austin Energy Electric pole with a guy wire into the ground very close to our proposed pipe on the north side of the river. We request Austin Energy's assistance on either holding the electric pole during construction or temporarily relocating the guy wire during construction. In other words, Tesla was trying to get a neighbor to basically remove something while they construct this new Giga Water Loop and then they can put back their thing. Tesla says the project is planned for 13101 Tesla Road. People are believing that it could be a water recycling facility for battery production. Now, it's true that battery production, car production does use quite a lot of water. I mean, to be honest, there's nothing in comparison to say a coal mine. Uh, for example, uh, there's a coal mine not far away from Tesla's factory in Germany, and it uses 141 times more than Tesla's factory. Um, it's not a massive coal mine, it's a decent size, but it's not one of the biggest ones in the world by far, nowhere near. So you can see here that factories do use a lot of water, but it's not astronomical. That said, Tesla coming up with the option, the idea to recycle the water it uses at its factory could be like a test project because if Tesla was able to prove that it was recycling all water that it uses at its factory in Germany, it could be another reason to get its new factory that it plans on building in Germany permitted more easily. The environmentalists or so-called pretend environmentalists, uh, ones that are obviously lobbying and paid for by various uh, questionable groups are saying that their biggest objection to Tesla is their environmental damage they're causing by using excessive amounts of water. Now, Tesla CEO Elon Musk mentioned an interesting project, which he said would include a boardwalk, hiking, biking trails, and access to a stream when he mentioned Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas. So basically, it was this huge environmental park near the Gigafactory in Texas, actually really, really big. And the point of it was for Tesla's employees to go there and walk and relax and kind of feel like they're in nature, feel like, you know, de-stress, have a way to get away from the, um, the hectic demands of working at Tesla. So this project was meant to turn Tesla's Giga Texas campus into a so-called ecological paradise that, that would be open to the public. So this Tesla Giga Water Loop could be part of this project. I speculate it's in fact both of these things. So Tesla is planning on building this ecological park that involves the Giga Water Loop. Basically, Tesla is combining two different things into one, They're having this place where you can go and walk and relax and have birds and uh, lots of trees and that sort of thing. Really big area, by the way. Nothing like you know Central Park in New York, but something maybe possibly even half the size. So a really large park. And then adding as part of that park, the Giga Water Loop, where the water travels around and is recycled and then returns back to Tesla's factory to be reused to build batteries, refined lithium, possibly, and also make cars, plus paint them. Apparently painting cars uses a lot of water as well. So that's my theory on this, but no one really knows for sure. If you have a theory, let me know what yours is in the comments. Thank you for watching.